to impeach or not to impeach. During a town hall on Monday night, two top-tier 2020 candidates, Senator Kamala Harris and Mayor Pete Buttigieg, joined the call to bounce President Trump out of office. I believe Congress should take the steps towards impeachment. I think he's made it pretty clear that he deserves impeachment. I'll leave it to the... That was after Elizabeth Warren broke the ice for the field on Friday afternoon when she called for impeachment in a Twitter thread. That's all easy for them to say. They're not the ones who have to make the decision. At least not yet. The people who will really decide this are the Democrats in the House of Representatives. And right now, they're struggling with the question that Democrats always seem to be struggling with. What's more important, principles or politics? Representative Mary Gay Scanlon represents this mostly blue collar district west of Philly. Nyla, are you ready to meet with me? Okay. <laughs> She's a freshman elected last fall on the anti-Trump wave. She's also the vice chair of the Judiciary Committee, the committee that is normally tasked with an impeachment investigation. Would you impeach the president right now? I wouldn't right now. I think we have a lot of work to do to get there. It's not something you jump into. There's so many important avenues of investigation that we're not finished with. Scanlon's district office says that in the last week, they've received nearly 200 letters, emails, and calls, some hoping for impeachment, others asking to investigate first. Good afternoon, Congresswoman Scanlon's office. How may I help you? I'm not sure about impeachment because in a perfect world, I would love impeachment. However, I think Pence is evil, and I'm concerned about him being president. At least Trump is done. Okay. Well, ma'am, I will definitely pass on you a message to the Congresswoman. And For Scanlon, this isn't a question about Trump being dumb or not. It's a question of how Congress should do its job. Is impeachment for Democrats the moral high ground right now? I think acting as a check and balance on an administration that's out of control in a lot of ways is the moral high ground. It's why a lot of us ran and it's why a lot of us were elected. But impeachment is different than oversight, though. I mean, do you think that taking the impeachment route is Democrats' way of saying, we have looked at all the evidence, we think that we're doing the right thing here by filing articles of impeachment against him? I think for any member of Congress, that will be the question. When you look at all of the evidence, does it lead you to conclude that for the good of our country, impeachment is what we have to do, that, that it's an executive who cannot function. Pennsylvania went red for Trump. Are there any political repercussions for you specifically if you go forward with impeachment articles? Quite frankly, I don't care if there are political repercussions for impeaching or not impeaching. I just feel like we have a constitutional duty to look at this evidence, to look at what the full scope of conduct is and move forward for the good of the country.